trading mostly lower in midweek trade. Risk appetite is recovering after pulling back in the wake of political uncertainty. On Tuesday, U.S. President Donald Trump fired the head of the FBI, James Comey. Now, the act raised concerns about the pro-growth policies being implemented and how the administration may face resistance in Congress. Now, safe haven demand was reflected in the gains for the Swissy as well as the yen. Moving on to U.S. economic data, import prices jumped half a percent in April, partly due to higher fuel costs. Meanwhile, export prices climbed 0.2 percent. Now, prices for imports were 4.1 percent higher than a year ago in April, and export prices were 3 percent higher for the year. Take a look at euro dollar. It is currently flat at 1.0873. The pound dollar is up just 0.1 percent at 1.2947. Meanwhile, dollar yen has come off prior session highs and is flat trading at 113.93. Now that pair has validated a bullish flag pattern and should post a further advance. Targets are on the upside for dollar yen at 115.50 as well as 118.50 in extension. Now moving on to precious metals, they are inching above the flat line. Gold broke below the bullish channel and it is currently consolidating. The RSI for spot gold is also below its uh, neutrality level and the 20-day moving average is turning lower. As long as 1260 holds on the upside, trading center analysts do look for further downside towards 1194 and 1164 in extension. Silver prices are up 0.8% in midweek trade at $16.20. That does wrap it up for this morning. I'm Remy Blair reporting for the New York Stock Exchange. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Trading Central. Have a great day.